Denise Harpo Amaro. A 1980 graduate, Denise was involved in many high school activities, including basketball, softball, golf, volleyball, and band. Academically, Denise particularly enjoyed composition, chemistry, business, history, and accounting. Denise continued her education at the University of Northern Iowa, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts in 1985. She received her Master's of Science from Illinois State University in 1986. Denise was an assistant athletic trainer at Kansas State University from 1987 to 1990. In that position, she worked with 14 sports and taught courses in athletic training. In 1991, Denise returned to Iowa to become the Associate Director of Athletic Training at Iowa State University. In that position, she administrates and coordinates all the women's intercollegiate athletic programs at the university. Denise is the head athletic trainer for the women's basketball and softball. She also supervises the graduate assistants working with other women's sports. Denise teaches four credits each year and has developed new courses in the athletic training department. She is devoted to providing quality care to the university's student athletes. Denise was appointed to the Iowa Board of Athletic Trainers by the Governor Branson. While on the board, she served in various leadership roles. Denise has organized continuing education seminars and served as examiner for the National Athletic Trainers Association. She has been awarded the Athletic Trainer Service Award by the National Trainers Association and the Dan Levera Service Award by the Board of Certification. Denise has served her community in many ways. She has organized medical coverage for the Special Olympics and for the Iowa School Girls State Championships. Denise has worked in the schools and hospitals in India and Peru with the Cross-Cultural Solutions Organization. A licensed foster parent from the state of Iowa from 2004 to 2008, Denise fostered two teenage girls. Denise and her husband, Daniel, live in Ames. She enjoys golfing, kayaking, and any outdoor activity and working with her dogs. Please welcome Denise.
research paper that we had to do as a freshman, which was a dreaded research paper that we had to spend hours and hours on. Uh, but it was a great benefit, and actually when I we went to college, I, could, I tested out of English. Uh, in fact, probably coming out of high school, I think I could write a better paper than I probably could today, because I don't write them anymore. But um, the grammar skills and the composition skills was just one example. Um, I felt when I went to college, I wasn't lost. I've been working with college kids now for 25 years. A lot of times you have that freshman year where they're scared to death, and like, I'm in over my head, and high school is so much easier, and I have to study so much more, and I don't know how to, you know, do my time management. And I guess I feel fortunate, I think a lot of it was my education here, that uh, I felt prepared to go to college. I really learned a great work, work, work ethic, ethic here, and I think it did me, you know, really got me off to a good start. Um, I just wanted to mention a few of the teachers because, once again, I, I was thinking about very specific memories and hopefully some of you will know all of these people. Um, of course, I'll have to start with my dad, who was also a teacher and a coach for me, uh, which I know sometimes people think it might be hard growing up being a teacher's kid, but I didn't know any different. I thought it was great. I actually think it was harder for him <laughs> than it was for me. Um, uh, lots of advantages to that. Uh, obviously, it was motivation to do well in school. Uh, there's, there's a few things I talk to people uh, that you don't do when your dad's a teacher. You certainly don't play hooky from school. <laughs> I think he would have noticed that. Uh, but anyway, he has been a great mentor. I remember in history class, we did current event day. That was always Fridays, and we thought that was uh, the best thing. Yes, there was no homework. Uh, but we were doing current events and it really got everybody motivated and excited to learn about what was going on in the world, which I can still use, by the way, on Fridays. <laughs> Need some of that? There's a lot going on out there. Um, other little tidbits, Mr. Palmer, who was my golf coach, also my math teacher, um, inspired me and was very positive in making a good experience. The sports here, I thought, were great because there wasn't a lot of pressure to be great, a lot of pressure to be winning. But we had great teammates, we had great fun, just experience of competing and learning, uh, and that was awesome. There wasn't a lot of pressure, uh, but we still learned and had an awesome time. Um, remember simple things like uh, Mr. Jacobson teaching driver's ed? Uh, still things I think about today when I'm in my car, uh, where he used to do cover up the rear view mirror and say, uh, who's behind you? How many cars are behind you? What color are you? I still think about that today. Or, you know, leaving yourself out. People uh, I, that have driven with me uh, will say, why are you so far behind the car? Where did you get up there? Now you don't. I'll say, well, because Mr. Jason said, leave yourself an out. Never get too close to them. So you remember all of these, these little things throughout your life. Uh, Mr. Sorensen, who uh, was an English teacher and drama teacher, um, had some interesting ways to motivate us. Uh, we did little plays and little skits on here. In fact, one time, for some reason, I was a little bull peep and I ended up bringing a lamb to school. And I don't think there's too many places uh, that you'd be able to actually bring a lamb to your school for, for an activity. Uh, he also tried to motivate us by saying, I know this might not be real exciting material, but someday you may be on a game show and you may mail a million bucks uh, because you knew it. Greek mythology. Uh, well, so far I haven't won that million dollars in there, but I'm very interested in Greek mythology. Uh, so those are just a few things I thought of um, that were specific examples. Uh, once again, you need to have a well-rounded, uh, I kind of mentioned everybody about getting to be in sports, getting to be in band, um, getting to participate in a lot of different things, any club that you wanted to do. Uh, it was just an awesome experience. And one thing I think that it taught me was everybody is important. Uh, every, sometimes you get in a big city, you kind of feel more insignificant. Uh, I don't have to help out, I don't need that, somebody else will do it, I don't feel important. I think that's one thing you really have in a small community and I felt in this school was the confidence that everybody is important and everybody contributes in whatever their special areas are and uh, I think that served me well as I've gone through my life. Uh, so once again, I just want to thank everybody and, uh, for this opportunity and uh, have a good evening.